Hi, my name is Richard Rao. We're here this afternoon to pour pewter spoons. Uh, a lot of people like to know what pewter is made of, what pewter looks like, and what the people did for pewter years ago. What we have here today is 1800s molds. All these are all original molds from the 1800s. Pewter comes in a ingot, most of the time two pound ingots and they are shipped to me directly uh, in this. They are then put in the pot to be melted. Melting point is somewhere around 340, 350, and it pours very well at 400 degrees. Once we melt the, uh, we put them in the molds that look like this. Once it comes out of the mold, it'll have the flashing on it, which has to be machined off uh, and in the 1800s it was clipped. Uh, it was off in terms of using files, steel wool, whatever the person had to use to clean up a, a, a utensil with. So what I'm gonna do now is take a hot mold, which we have down here around the fire. We're gonna take some molten pewter. We'll pour it in the molds and let's see what we get. Now what we have here are molds that are already hot. They're kept around the fire. And they're already hot. And uh, these molds are made out of bronze. Bronze will not let the pewter stick to it. The, the secret, or the, what, what is supposed to happen is as the pewter is poured in, the air passes it coming back out. And so I try to hold it like at 45 degrees. So as it's being poured in, the pewter passes the air, and it, if not, it will blow a hole in the, in the spoon. A lot of people ask, how long do you hold it? Well, I hold it till I see the, the nipple up here start turning a different color. It's a shiny, pewter is a shiny metal, but once it is, starts cooling, it gets very dull. And so in the top of this, it, it's starting to turn dull now. So we'll see if we have one. And that's not a good pour. So we put it back and we try again. We'll let this one cool and see if we come up with a good pour. If it doesn't come out as a good spoon, we throw it back in, we waste nothing. Everything is recyclable and uh, you can remelt as many times as you want to. We've got a, we've got a good pour. Okay, now that we have a good pour, we bring it over here, and the process over here is to nip all the flange off from the from the pour from the rough and try to get it down just as easy as we can, so that once we do that, it will start filing on it, sandpapering on it, steel woolen on it just to slick them up and put a, put a good finish on them. And you can see what she's doing here is breaking all the flanges off and that gets it cleaned up. Then we come down here once, it's, once the flange is off and then they start with sandpaper. And once you, you get, uh, you can do it flat, you can lay it in a cradle. Just quit, a lot of people, a lot of people lay them in a cradle. A lot of people will just lay them flat on the table. It just depends on how you need support. Once we get it from the, from the nippers to the sandpaper and the files, then we start with steel wool. Once that thing is steel wooled, then it comes out looking polished for a good spoon that, uh, that a lot of people like to take home as souvenirs.
because they are poured on 1800s molds. And the other thing about this is the, back in the 1800s, most of the people couldn't afford silver. So they used pewter. And pewter back then was known as poor man's silver. And so what they would do, they would use these forks, these spoons, until they got tired of them. And then they decided one day they'd just pick up their six place setting, take it to the pewter smith, hand it to him. He would put it in the pot, melt it down, and pour it on a different mold. And then they would go home with another place setting of, of a different, of a different uh, pattern. So uh, now that I've explained everything, what we're doing as far as pewter, uh, we do this on the fourth Saturday of October at the Hart Square Festival. So if you want to see more and see it done in person, come out and uh, have, a, have a good day at the festival.